Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel if you've been here before and welcome if you're new. If you've never been here before, my name is Kaylin and I am currently 37 weeks pregnant uh, with my first, mine and my husband's first baby. We're expecting a little boy, uh, we're due on June 5th. So today's video is one I'm really excited about because it's a what's in my hospital bag video and the reason, the main reason I'm excited is because it means I'm finally packing my hospital bag. So um, I figured since I was doing it, I should just go ahead and film it and it would be a fun video for YouTube. I have watched a ton of these to give myself ideas on like what to expect in the hospital, what other moms felt like they needed and used. So um, I've kind of taken all of that. I've taken things that I normally take with me when I just travel overnight somewhere um, and kind of compiled all of that together to figure out what to put in my bag. So if you are curious what I'm bringing as a first time mom to the hospital, um, my bag and baby's bag, then just keep watching this video. And if you enjoy it and you find it helpful, you should like and subscribe, give it a thumbs up, um, and stick around for more videos. So uh, let's get into this hospital bag. Okay, so we're gonna start with clothes. So um, I've had these packing cubes for a long time. I just use them anytime we go somewhere. So um, I went ahead and used them for the hospital. And in this one, I have, I ordered this, it was like a three in one um, hospital nursing gown. I went ahead and got it washed. I got it off Amazon, so I'll link it below. Um, but it's nice because you can undo these little snaps so that you can nurse um, if you want to wear it after. Of course, if you wear it during labor and delivery, it might get a little messed up, so I don't know about that. But it also has um, the back can open so that, you know, the doctors can get to your back. I don't know, like how hospital gowns have the open backs. So, really nice. thought it was really cute. I do kind of plan to... Um, labor in this was my thought but we'll see how everything goes and then the other thing in here was another thing I got off Amazon this is for after delivery it's just a nice lightweight like cotton you can't really see because it's black um, robe so I kind of delivering more in the summertime I didn't want to bring anything too too warm so it's like I said it's just cotton nice and lightweight it's kind of like a knee length bathrobe so not floor length and I just thought it would be really nice and comfortable to wear afterwards um, for nursing and then what some people have said in their videos is you know the doctors have to come and check you a lot so something that's open on the bottom it's just more convenient kind of for everybody rather than if you're wearing pants so I thought that would be a good thing to wear after delivery so that's everything in this little cube right here and I have everything piled over here so that's why I keep looking this way but um, I'm just gonna grab randomly because I can't really see what's in all of them so here's another one so in this one I have this is kind of like socks and underwear. So I know the hospital gives you um, like disposable underwear that come up really high, like the mesh underwear. I did buy the Freedom Mom Boy Short Brief ones uh, because so many people say such good things about them. So I grabbed a pack of those and I'm gonna go ahead and bring those. I also, based on, again, I this is all based on like recommendations plus just things I would normally take with me traveling anyway, but rubber bottomed socks. I got a three pack off of Amazon, um, just so you don't slip around like on the hospital floor. And I have a friend who told me that she wore slippers and she regretted it because her slippers got super stained and um, she can't really use them anymore. They just kind of got ruined. So um, I don't really care if these socks get ruined. And then I don't know if I'll actually wear these because you wear the disposable like mesh underwear, but I brought these anyway just in case. Um, they have really good reviews on Amazon. They're like super high waisted, um, black, just like cotton stretchy underwear. Um, and I got black, I think you could probably guess why. 
Um, and then the high-waisted is just for like tummy control afterwards. So that is everything in this bag. Okay, next we have... Um, this bag is kind of like nursing tank tops and nursing bras. So I got a three pack of nursing tank tops on Amazon. Again, um, not delivering in the winter, so I didn't need anything like super warm or heavy. So I got a three pack of these. They had really good reviews on Amazon. There's a black one too. Um, so it came with this like gray color. There's a white one and then a black one. I have the black one in... I have a certain bag which I'll show you which is my um, going home outfit and so it's in that one um, but they had really good reviews nursing tanks um, and they're a really nice stretchy like spandexy material these are also off Amazon I don't know if I said that oh they're 92% nylon and 8% spandex so they're just like super stretchy and they feel really comfortable so I'm super excited about those so I have the one that I'm gonna wear home and then I have two extras right here I don't know how long I'll be in the hospital I know if you have a vaginal delivery you shouldn't be there more than like a night or two um, but I know you can't plan for everything I've never had a baby before so I know if you have a c-section you're there for longer so I tried without overpacking I tried to make sure that I also had enough um, with me to last me like a few days in case you know, I did end up having a C-section um, cesarean and had to stay longer. Um, and then I have a nursing bra right here. I have another nursing bra, again, in my going home outfit bag. I gave that one, like, its own little <laughs> cube, but we will get to that. Yeah, let's, let's go ahead and do going home outfit next. So, in here, I just have, <laughs> it's a lot of black. <laughs> I have um, another nursing bra, just a black nursing bra. I have that black nursing tank. And if I'm wearing the tank, I probably don't need the bra, but I put it in here just in case. Um, so I have that. I threw in one of those pairs of those the high-waisted, just cotton black underwear. Um, and then I have my favorite pair of um, Fabletics maternity leggings. Um, to wear home because they basically say like your stomach is still the size of being like at least six months pregnant So figured maternity leggings would work just fine. And then this was a baby shower gift From a good friend. It just says mama on it um, I figured I could throw it on to just have like a comfy hoodie to wear home um, It does have a matching onesie for Tanner that says Bubba on it. It's super cute, uh, but it won't fit him yet for well, it won't fit him for a little while, but I thought this would be a fun one to wear home just for the first car ride as a new mom, I guess. So, um, that's what I'm bringing to wear home. Just all comfy stuff, comfortable nursing stuff, um, and I plan to just wear a pair of Birkenstocks. So, I haven't thrown those in here yet because um, I wear my Birkenstocks all the time, so those will be something I grab at the last minute maybe they'll be something I even just wear to the hospital so that they're what I wear home um so yeah I'll have the leggings the hoodie um and some Birkin stocks pretty much I also did throw you'll see in this one um like a just a big drapey like open sweater that who knows I might end up wearing that home too um so we'll see Okay, so this last cube, basically the biggest cube, is pretty much just all the other clothes that I'm bringing. So, um, this is what, I'm not sure if I'm overpacking or not, or if I actually need everything that's in here. But, uh, one thing, if you guys did not know or you haven't seen any of my other videos, I haven't made a ton of videos about this lately. Um, I'm a little more active about my alopecia on Instagram, but I do have an autoimmune uh, disorder disease called alopecia and it's basically where my um, autoimmune system attacks my hair and it does not grow so um, I wear wigs I don't have hair on my head um, and that's why my hair can change from video to video but um, I don't really plan on laboring and delivering with a wig on I just I already know I'm just gonna want to like rip it off but I might um, I'm still going to have a wig with me in case I want to put a wig back on for pictures and whatnot. Um, but I also love to wear bandanas on my head. So I'm bringing these in case I don't want to wear a wig, but I don't feel like being fully bald in the hospital room either. 
and I want to wear a bandana. So I have a couple bandanas just in case. Um, I just want one just for comfort. Um, I pretty much just brought like really loose, comfortable clothes. So I have two pairs of maternity leggings right here. Um, just black. I brought a lot of black for obvious reasons, I think. Um, and then one pair of, uh, those are from Old Navy. These are from Old Navy too. These are my favorite joggers ever. I need to get more pairs. They're just black, like sweatpant joggers. I love them. Um, I've been wearing them like this entire pregnancy. So I'm going to go ahead and bring these two just in case. I want to wear them and then since I do have those nursing tank tops I didn't really know how many tops I would need to bring so this is technically a pajama top uh, it's a maternity pajama top um, but it has a really nice open like neck with buttons in case I do need to nurse um, I think it would be easy to nurse in so literally just a big black um, night shirt in case I want to wear that and then this is the big Oh, I brought two other sweaters for just in case. So I've had this forever. I don't remember where I got it. Oh, it's American Eagle. Um, this is just a really big, cozy, throwover knit sweater in case um, I get a little chilly and I don't want to wear that hoodie and I want something that's easy to open in the front um, for nursing. So I threw that in there in case I feel like wearing that home. And then one other thing, just because... I'm a notorious overpacker and so sometimes I feel like I don't know what I'm gonna want in the moment so I also threw in just a zip up hoodie um, that is I think for the most part all the clothes I'm bringing like I said too I'll bring my Birkenstocks and then I also am gonna throw in a pair of flip-flops for the shower I never go in like a public shower without shoes on so I we're gonna bring flip-flops for that because I do plan on showering at the hospital. I know some people don't, but um, I plan to. Okay, a couple just like random items are masks. I have three in here. Um, I didn't buy new masks. I have a ton of masks. So I just grabbed three clean ones and threw them in this little Ziploc bag. So I'll have those just in case. I don't really know what it's gonna be like. I know a lot of people say, they were told to wear their mask, but they like if they ended up ripping it off, the doctor didn't get mad at them or tell them to put it back on. So we'll see. I'm gonna have my me and my husband are both gonna bring them just in case. Um, and then this, I got this at Ross forever ago. As you can see, like the little detail on it is totally peeling off, but it's basically just a laundry bag, a dirty laundry bag. Um, the whole bag is inside here in a zipper right now, so you unzip it and you pull the bag out. But I bring this with us on like every trip or anytime we stay somewhere overnight, even just at night, for dirty clothes. So I went ahead and threw that in there just to have it. And then um, I'm going to go ahead and bring this. This is my little elephant bag that I got at the coast. And the reason I'm bringing this is because everybody says that the hospital sends you home with a bunch of stuff. And um, it's nice to have just an empty bag to put all that stuff in. So it is pretty good size. It's actually a really deep bag. So should be able to fit lots of goodies if they do send us home with anything. If not, that's okay. They don't need to. But if they do, we are prepared with an empty bag. So bringing this, it's like a little backpack. So it'll be easy to carry out. Let's see what else. Um, oh, this is the bag I'm going to use. So it took everything in me not to go on Amazon and buy like some just super cute hospital bag just to make it feel fun and exciting. Um, but it's fun and exciting even without that. So I stopped myself and I'm going to just use this Nike bag that I've had forever. There's nothing wrong with it. It's a nice big duffel bag. Everything will fit in there easy. So this is the bag I'm going to put um, everything into and like all my little packing cubes and stuff. So just to show that. Um, I'm also bringing, so I have this little letter board and I filled it in basically as far as I could go. So just, I want to take a picture with it. So it says, welcome Tana Ryan Bozisto, born June something, cause I don't know what day he'll be born. Um, I don't think he'll come early in May, but if he did, I mean, well, that's easy to change. And then I want to put the time, but I left the time blank, blank pounds and ounces, and then how many inches long. 
Um, so I have that and then all the little pieces so that when he is born, we can fill it in the rest of the way and take a picture of him. So I am also going to bring a boppy. Um, so many people recommended this. A lot of people said um, if they didn't bring it, they ended up having to stack like a bunch of pillows for breastfeeding and it was just like more difficult and hard. Um, and a lot of, even my OB recommended, um, they give you like a little list of recommendations for what to pack in your hospital bag. They recommended bringing like a nursing pillow or a boppy if you planned to use one. So I'm gonna throw, or we're gonna grab this. Um, I washed it and then I just put it back in its little carrying case because it has handles. So it'll be nice and easy to carry that way. And then before we move on to baby stuff, um, I'll go ahead and show you my toiletries. So this is another bag I've had forever. Um, my husband and I were doing a lot of traveling at one point in time, um, kind of back in like 2019, 2018, 2019. So um, we have like a lot of this stuff that I'm just going to reuse because there's no need to buy new stuff. Um, so this has like been my toiletries bag for years, a few years now. And um, what I have in here is, I have all of my um, skincare essentials. So for skincare, I have makeup remover wipes. I don't know for sure if I'm gonna wear makeup. Um, I'm probably gonna bring a little bit just in case. I love just the feeling of a fresh, clean face. Um, so I might not wanna wear makeup, but who knows, I also might wanna feel like a human a little bit and put a little bit on. So I'm gonna bring some just in case, but whether I bring makeup or not, um, I'm gonna go ahead and bring these makeup remover cleanser wipes. And then I also have, um, I didn't wanna have to wait until like the last second to throw in my skincare items. So I went ahead and put everything that I use in like these little travel bottles. So, um, so that it could just be in here and I could know it was in here and not be another thing I had to have in my, in my brain or on a list to grab at the last second. So I also have my face cleanser in here and then I have um, my toner. I put jojoba oil on my skin every night so I have this little dropper bottle with my little organic jojoba oil and then I've got my day moisturizer, my eye cream, and my night cream. So I figured these little um, containers would be perfect for just a night or two. It's probably even more than I need, but basically when I get home, I'll just keep uh, like doing my skincare out of these little containers until they're empty. And then um, I'll go back to like my regular ones. So I have all of that for my skincare. I like to use unscented body wash just because I feel like anything scented makes my skin super sensitive. So I use the Dove um, like unscented sensitive skin body wash. So I have that in here. Um, let's see, I've got a little thing of lotion. This is just a lotion, a Lubriderm. I got it at Costco. It came with like two big pump bottles and then this small more travel one. So I threw that in there just because I like to have lotion with me. You never know when you're away from home. Um, deodorant for obvious reasons. And then, again, I like to bring my normal toothbrush with me, but just to have like one less last minute thing to grab, I went ahead and threw um, a toothbrush in here that I got at the dentist along with one of their little toothpaste that they give you. That way it's just in there and I know and I don't have to grab it. Um, this little bag has some reusable and some disposable nursing pads in it. Oh, for skincare, I forgot to add, I have this little um, witch hazel and tea tree like acne spot cream. Figured it wouldn't hurt to bring just in case. You never know if you're gonna get a nasty pimple in the hospital and you wanna zap it away. So I have that in there too. And then I think the hospital gives you, basically what I hear, and I should call my hospital and ask, but is that they pretty much give you like all the postpartum stuff that you're gonna need while you're in the hospital, as well as most everything you're gonna need for the baby as far as like diapers and wipes and things like that. But I'm still gonna throw, um, I only grabbed three just in case a couple um, of like the heavy duty pads in here. Um, I'd rather like have them and not need them than need them and not have them. So I threw those in there. Another thing that I, I kind of already just always have with me, but it was also highly recommended was some chapstick. So I threw some Bird's Bees chapstick in here because um, you get really, really thirsty and then I think, um, and like dehydrated and what comes along with that is 
dry lips so um i have that and then i love essential oils i thought about bringing my diffuser but i just felt like it was another thing to pack as you know as much as the aromatics would be nice um i'll, I'll just stick with like my topical my roll-ons so i just threw kind of ones that i use for like stress or to keep me calm um, in here so I have a tranquil roll on and stress away so those are the only oils I think I'm bringing I have a few things that kind of just never leave this bag they're over here uh, that I probably won't need but like I said they just kind of stay in here for like every trip I go on and I have like Benadryl Tylenol band-aids I have some dental floss um, nail clippers tweezers hair ties bobby pins um, and then I also have this blue little pouch has those just like round little um, cotton pads on them. And then I have a little thing of Q-tips. So those kind of just always stay in here. And then I also have, um, when you wear wigs, oh, I almost forgot. I have hand sanitizer. And then if you wear wigs, you know, these picks are your best friend for your synthetic wigs. I have one of these because um, I won't need like a real hairbrush with the type of wig that I'll be wearing or bringing so um, that is everything in my toiletries bag so before we move on to baby stuff a few things that I don't have in front of me but we are gonna grab is we're each gonna grab like our pillow off the bed and we're each gonna bring a blanket from home my husband and I so um, those are on my list of last minute things to grab and then I have a list on my phone here let's see um, yeah so our pillows our blankets. Um, I have a heating pad that I want to bring, but I'm still using it, especially at this point in pre pregnancy. So I don't want to pack it in my bag yet. Um, my water bottle, makeup. If I decide to bring it, if I do decide to bring it, it's gonna go in this little bag. This it's cool because this bag has um, you can't really see them, but little like elastic things to stand your brushes up in. So this will be what um, makeup goes in, depending what I grab, if and what I grab. Um, we're gonna bring we can't record any video during labor at our hospital um, But you obviously can still have a camera for fit photos. So I'm gonna grab um, our camera batteries and chargers as well as um, iPads and uh, Phone and iPad chargers. So this I think will kind of hold phone chargers iPad chargers camera camera batteries and camera chargers um, that was a lot for my brain. <laughs> so we both already have a really long cell phone cord, um, which everyone says to bring because you don't know how far the outlet's going to be from your phone. Um, but we already have those. So we're at the last second. We will just grab ours and throw them in here rather than each of us buy a whole nother cord. Um, so that'll be what that is for. Let's see what else. I'll grab some snacks, but I'll wait until it gets a little closer for that, just so they're nice and fresh, and I might make like a couple sandwiches. Luckily though, at my hospital, um, my husband is able to come and go, so it's not like once we're there, we're stuck there, so he could go get his food if we wanted him to. Um, and then my wallet, so I'm not going to bring my whole purse, I'm just going to grab my wallet, I think, um, just for less things to carry, and I'll grab that. So. That is, um, did I say water bottle? If I didn't, water bottle. But that's everything kind of on like my last minute list uh, for my husband and I. So, um, that felt like a lot. <laughs> um, let's go ahead and move on to what I'm bringing for Tanner. So, this is our diaper bag. I'm just going to go ahead and use our diaper bag as his hospital bag. I didn't see a reason to use, to use or buy like another special bag. So this is just an Eddie Bauer diaper bag from Target. It was on our registry and it was um, a gift for our baby shower. So um, I did start just kind of packing his diaper bag so it was ready for just to use like, you know, once he's home and we go do stuff. So a couple of the things in here are just things that I want in here just to have in here, not just for the hospital. So I'll tell you what those items are, um, but mostly everything is stuff that I specifically packed for the hospital so um let's go ahead and start going through here so yeah these items are not really for the hospital these are just in here um a set of nail clippers we got um gifted a few for our baby shower and my friend one of my very best friends said that you'd be surprised like 
where you can be when you realize you really need to cut their nails. So I was like, okay, I'll throw a pair in the diaper bag. And then um, just for on the go in case I have an emergency or need them, I have some, so these are more for me, disposable nursing pads. So starting off the bat with non-hospital items, but that's okay. Um, let's see. Going into like the main compartment, whoa! Bringing a baby shisher, if you don't know what this is, it's like a portable sound machine that just makes the white noise machine. So um, this was something I wanted in the diaper bag anyway, but also for the hospital. Plus we have a white noise machine in our bedroom and I cannot sleep without one. So um, this will also hopefully help my husband and I sleep too. So I threw that in there. I have two swaddles. I don't know how many I'm gonna need, if these will get dirty and I'll wish I brought more, but like I said, I'm really trying not to overpack and everyone says that they supply a lot of stuff for the baby. So I do have two swaddles though for him. And then I have, let's see. Oh, that's a lie, I have three. So I have three total. I don't even know if I need three, but I have three. <laughs> and then um, I've also got, just in case, Sometimes in June, the weather can be a little iffy and unpredictable, so although it won't be freezing, it could be a little chilly, so I also brought this just kind of bigger, like heavier fuzzy blanket, maybe for the ride, the car ride home. I don't know, um, but that's in there just in case. We got, um, let's see, I threw some diapers and wipes in here too. Like I said, I'm pretty sure the hospital will supply those, um, but I threw them in anyway just to have to stock the diaper bag. There's also a wipes compartment on the side over here that I just haven't um, put any wipes in yet. So I don't only have like these little ones, but um, so those are in there. And then I also brought, I threw three pairs of socks in there for him and a few hats. So let's see, I should show you. Okay, so this hat goes with this swaddle, I got it on Etsy. I don't know if it's focused, but it has his name on it, so it says Tanner. So these are what I wanna use to take uh, pictures with, with the sign I was showing you. Um, so that's what these are for, specifically. And then, um, let's see. I picked out a specific going home outfit too. So his going home outfit is gonna be this little, little animal onesie, I guess, with, these little pants with this hat. I can't hold this up how I want to. Onesie, pants, hat, um, and then probably just, you know, one of the pairs of socks. I don't really care which pair. Um, but then beside that, just to have a couple extra things, I have a third hat for just in case. I have one, two, three onesies right here. And then a couple little um, of those little gowns. So it's like a little nightgown with the little things that can go over his hands. And then it just has like a stretchy open bottom. And then this one I got off Amazon because I thought it was so cute, but it's just like a little camo nightgown that just these two little things tie on the bottom. So hopefully he fits in that because it looks really cute. So. That's what I brought for him as far as clothes. And then what else is in here? I think I have a few other things in here, but I don't really think that they're for the hospital. I think they're just because, but I'll show you anyway. Um, and I've already sanitized um, like the binkies and everything that are in here. So we've got this little elephant guy with the binky on him just to have in here. I've got, oh, this was also a baby shower gift. So it's like a, it's little, kind of like doggy poop bags, but for diapers for babies. So it has like little diaper poop bags if you have to change a diaper and you're somewhere where you don't have a garbage can immediately. And then this was also a baby shower gift. This was a baby shower gift and I went ahead and um, for my friend Destiny, I went ahead and sanitized um, the all the binkies and I put a couple in here because it's a little binky holder, like with little dinosaurs on it. I think the last thing in here is 
I can get it unclipped. It's a pacifier with a little pacifier clip on it. So I think that that is everything. So let me know if you've had a baby before and there's something that you feel like I missed that I should really be bringing. Because like I said, I've never done this before. I feel pretty prepared, but you never know. Um, also, I do hope you guys enjoyed this video. And like I said in the beginning, if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe and stick around for future videos. Um, I plan to do a nursery tour um, as well as like a pregnancy must-haves video too. So if you want to see those, you should stick around. I'm trying to put new videos up every Sunday, but sometimes I do miss a week just with working um, all week during the week. But yeah, anyways, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you made it through till the end, and I hope to see you on my next video. Bye.